In this video, I'm going to address seven key benefits of energy healing. We are energy beings. We're made up of mind, body, and spirit, right? So there's the physical, there's the emotional, and there's the spiritual. And so healing takes place on all three levels. It's not just a physical thing. And many times you'll find that drugs are not the answer, whether it's physical or emotional, because you need to get to the root of the problem. These are things that are programs, patterns that are running in your subconscious that are manipulating your thoughts, which are the energy that you put out into the universe and how all things are created. So I want to dive into that a bit today and to just explain to you these benefits that energy healing brings and how it can totally transform your whole life. <laughs> Stick around for that. I'm Linda Armstrong and I am an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And what I do is help people to transform their life by reprogramming the subconscious mind, releasing those patterns and programs, energy ties to all life's experience, past traumas. What we're doing is releasing what does not support you and bringing in new energies that do. So this is really magical uh, because we are not just flesh and bones. We are so much more. Think of it this way. Um, I'm pretty sure most people know they are a spiritual being, right? That part of you that resides within this physical body, it can't really be seen, right? Your thoughts, you can't actually see the energy that they vibrate out into the universe. Um, your emotions, you can't really see it. You can feel all of these things. Your physical body, you can see. So you have this energy field way bigger than your body. And it's really pretty common knowledge in the energy field industry. Um, and I think you can agree with this, that things, when you don't handle the things that are upset within your energy field, within your energy system that are maybe, you know, the energy ties to past experience, holding on to old stories, beliefs that you don't even know how they were created, but they were. Whether it was when you were a young child and so programmable, programmable in that theta mind state from the ages of like one to seven, just taking in everything and, you know, absorbing it as if all of that is real. So part of all of that you are absorbing is other people's limiting beliefs, false programs, um, energy. Take, you're taking it on because you're absorbing it from what other people might be experiencing in their life. So this stuff is contained within your energy field. And so if those, and, and listen, there's a lot of good stuff being absorbed, which is amazing and awesome and, you know, the way it is, right? But the things that don't support you, the things you picked up on that were even, not even your story, were another person's story, your parents or whatever your caretakers were, um, that stuff is stored in the subconscious mind. It's within your energy field. And as you grow older, different experience may trigger some of those things and create bigger um, problems. And I'm still talking about on an energetic level in your energy field. But when you don't take notice of, not even take notice, because it's something you actually pretty much need an energy healer most times to help guide you to find those things that are blocking you. Um, usually it's a very intuitive process. Sometimes it's quite logical. Um, when you don't care for that stuff, it starts to creep into the physical body and then it becomes disease like dis-ease. So when you have more and more dis-ease building up, and this could just, you know, starts emotionally, not cared for, it becomes 
something that your body will start manifesting into different sicknesses, illnesses. So it's really, really important to get energy healing. And I'm gonna tell you seven benefits to um, actually receiving energy healing. That's where we're going next. Are you ready? Benefit number one is that there's a noticeable shift in how you feel. Even from one session, you will feel a difference in your body. Many people tell me it feels like they just had a soul massage. I'm never hands-on when I do my work, some energy healers are, but what happens is that as you're releasing this, I'm gonna call it heavy energy, all right? This negative energy that weighs you down, um, as you're releasing that, and we lift that energy, we release it to the light, we then bring in light, love, healing. This energy of the universe is coming in to your, your, or your energy field, your aura, your physical body, going into every single cell of your body. So you actually feel lighter, like as if you weigh less, although you know you don't. You just kind of feel light, like free, open, expanded. That's really the word there. You'll feel your energy having expanded because it's like we lifted some of those things that are squashing it and making you feel small and opening you up to know your truth, that you are an energy being that is a creator by nature. So as we release the things that are blocking you from creating the transformation that you want in your life, it opens you up to receive more of that good energy that wants to flow through you. Because that energy is always flowing. It's just a matter of how much are you resisting it and not letting it in. So energy healing totally clears out that heavy, dense energy. We'll call it negative energy and brings in so much positive energy, this pure light and love. So that's the very first benefit that you will feel. I have to say no matter what, because I've never had anyone feel worse than when they came in the room. They always feel uplifted, energized, lighter, expanded. And that's really a great place to be and uh, the perfect place to take off on any journey on anything new that you want to manifest in your life. Of course, one session can't cure everything, but it, 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 it definitely will make a difference. And so the more and more we can clear this energy, I like to look at it like peeling the layers of an onion, getting to that pearl, right? Getting back to you owning and knowing your truth as this creator who can create a life that they love. All right, let's move on. Benefit number two subconscious blocks are being removed. Subconscious programming is what runs your whole life. <laughs> it is that nonstop, continual mind chatter that you are mostly unaware of that is dictating to you different beliefs, different ways of being, patterns of living, these are just running, running, running in the subconscious. And no matter how much you might consciously declare something to be, um, you know, like affirmations work, but it, it really, they really cannot, they can rewrite your subconscious mind. If you were to repeat them over and over and over again, and I, I particularly like to do this when I'm in that thing, the brainwave right before sleep or right as I'm waking up to listen to a loop because your subconscious mind never sleeps, right? So if you fall asleep with some new pattern of program that you want to have occur in your life, of course, dictating it as if it already has, then you are telling your subconscious mind this new story. That in that way, it does work, but you want to clear out the old stuff and then put in the new stuff. <laughs> so 
energy healers can clear out the subconscious blocks that are running. So um, I know for me, I especially work in that theta brainwave, either through theta healing or the gate method, where um, we're tapping into that being in that state of energy where this programming can take place where together me with you we can clear those things that are stopping you my particular modalities i will um be able to either intuitively tap into where the resistance is or your physical body will tell me where the resistance is that's more gate healing and it's it's like ex it's amazing it's extremely effective but the truth is if you were to look at if you are able to be aware of the programs, the things you're saying to yourself, the things that are running in this background all day long, you would be amazed at how much you are beating yourself up. So clearing subconscious programming, transforming beliefs is really what's necessary, what's needed. And there's no drug that can do that for you. So energy healing can do that. Now, I believe we all have the power to heal ourselves and, and that we are creative enough to find whatever way that works for us. But the thing is, there's a lot of subconscious programming running that doesn't allow you to believe you can do it. It's like that's one of the first things I'll work on is clearing those things that prevent people from knowing that they can heal themselves, from allowing themselves to be receptive to this energy healing that wants to come in. So... I can go on and on about clearing subconscious programming, but you know, and maybe that's a whole different video at some time, the actual ways in which that I personally do it. I can't speak for every energy healer. There's so many different ways to do this. Um, the important thing is for you to know, or maybe even start paying attention to some of those thoughts, because you can catch on to some of them. I mean, how many times do you do something <laughs> and beat yourself up for it? Like, oh, you're so stupid. Why did you do that again? Or oh, you'll never be able to do that. Or you're too old to do that. Like so many of these thoughts are like screaming at you, putting the brakes on you, stepping into this next thing you want to do, or just healing your body if it's a physical issue. Um, so energy healing works on everything, right? Mind, body, spirit. And clearing out that subconscious program is basically the root of it all. We need to clear out that programming, allow through this energy of spirit uh, to be downloaded with new ways of being. And that's all working with the subconscious mind. All right, let's move on to the next one. Benefit number three release emotional trauma connected to past experience. So this is where energy healing really takes off regarding receiving benefits to whatever it is that you want to heal within your life. So dr there's no way drugs can do this. All drugs really do. And I'm not really knocking drugs. Drugs have a place. There, there are many benefits and times when you need that. But if you can combine energy healing with that, like I would never say, go off your meds and just do energy healing. You'll find when it's right for you to reduce or to release uh, any drug-related uh, or, or medicines that you're receiving. Um, but... The point of what I'm speaking of now is that they're, they're just kind of putting a Band-Aid on the issue. You're not finding out where was this originated? You know, how, why is that? Because I did explain earlier that everything starts in the energy field before it even comes into the body. So past traumas, whether they be from a, this life or another, or something that you're holding through your ancestral line, those things can be uncovered through energy healing. An intuitive healer can tap into those aspects. And in, in fact, you'll find them for yourself because the process is quite meditative. And many times during the process, clients will have something come to them out of the blue. 
some thought of something or some picture of something which guides me and them to a root cause. Okay, so I can do that with a little bit of past life regression or even just through um, meditation. Um, but the energy healing, and for me especially, I'll find it through physical sensation within your body during a healing session. But that can that energy can actually be lifted and released, basically just being seen and asking for healing regarding that, allowing it to be lifted and released from your system. Um, makes huge changes within your experience, within your life. You know, because we're holding so much that we're not even aware of. Um, we may think we recovered, say, from an accident, but there's still this emotional trauma associated to it. Even if most of the body healed or you think emotionally you've healed from it, if there's some sort of existing condition that we as healers seem to be drawn to that are being connected to a particular trauma that you may think, no, I'm over that. I've had that happened many times. No, that's behind me now. You know, I'm past that. But then I go a little deeper. I'm like, well, what? let's just do a clearing regarding this anyway. It doesn't hurt if you would like to do it. Uh, I'll do that for you. Because, of course, I can't do anything unless you agree to it. That's, the, that's the, what I really love about energy healing. It is both the client and the healer working together because you have free will and you call the shots. No healer can release anything for you unless you're willing to have it be released, unless it's something that you want to do. So together, we work to release those traumas through the different processes we use or the way in which we channel the healing energy and then it's gone, okay? It's gone. It doesn't have to return. That story, that part, that chapter, that experience can be left. And the way I work, I always only release whatever was not for your highest good. Because, of course, there's always lessons to be learned. We're spiritual beings. We come to this life with a purpose. We come here with things we want to learn. And sometimes we learn them in ways that we think we would not want <laughs> But, you know, five years down the road, you're looking back, you're like, oh, wow, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. Right? So it's not for me to decide what is for your highest or best good. We allow spirit to handle that. And we just ask that whatever was not for your highest good be released from your ener energy system, be released from your body. So that's uh, it's pretty cool stuff, I'd say. Really getting down connecting with that trauma and letting it go. It's beautiful. Okay, let's move on. Benefit number four, release ancestral patterns and programs. Wow. <laughs> now that is not something that you can find for yourself. Um, I, I'll go to an energy healer to uncover my own because a lot of times it's hard even as an energy healer, it's hard to see your own stuff. But we carry past experience, patterns, programs, beliefs, um, traumas that from our ancestral line that we bring forward into this lifetime um, or that we easily connect to uh, within our own families, uh, even if it's presently in this lifetime, somehow absorbing that energy, uh, kind of like inheriting it, <laughs> right? That exists. And those, I'd have to say, at least, uh, at least in my own experience for myself, again, because it's kind of hard to find your own stuff, have been the harder things to uncover, right? Um, but we can, as energy healers, tap into our client's field of energy and kind of pull up these experiences and then ask for the healing and allow it to be released to no longer have an effect on you within your life um, so that you can just be free of those patterns 
you know, just really, and that again, it adds to when you release these things, you feel lighter, you feel more expanded, you feel energized to uh, continue with your healing or with whatever it is that you're manifesting. A lot of the work I do is helping people to manifest these new things that they want in their life, whether it's releasing some sort of uh, a physical thing, um, which of course makes everything really heavy and hard to move forward, or just an emotional thing. Um, yeah, really letting go of, of patterns, programs, beliefs that hold you back. So you wanna see if there is this ancestral programming that's holding you back and release it. And energy healers are able to do that. Benefit number five, clear energy ties to negative energies and past experiences. Yeah. So we are all energy and everything in our existence is energy. And so we have energetic ties. It's almost like if you could see it as like little strings of light or or in some way attaching you to everything, attaching me to those crystals behind me, attaching me to my cat who's laying over there, energy ties to uh, my camera, energy ties to my husband, my son, my dogs, energy ties to my home, my town, energy ties to any experience I've had in the past, energy ties to my birth, energy ties to my education, uh, energy ties to relationships. There's energy ties to everything. And so energy healing assists you in clearing those energy ties that were not for your highest good. So for example, um, a really bad breakup or divorce or something. You want to clear those energy ties to that whole experience. Now we're only clearing out the energy that was not for your highest good. All the rest of it exists and stays because there are always lessons to be learned. I think I mentioned that in an earlier benefit. Um, and you don't realize that, you know, you may have energy ties to this home that you used to love and now you're in this new home and for some reason, I mean, this is hypothetical, right? You just can't be happy or feel like you belong in this new town. But once we clear energy ties to the last place or previous places, um, it frees you up to be present here in the now in your current experience. So that's one way of putting it. Um, I clear energy ties to my, my family all the time. In fact, the first time I cleared energy ties to my husband, I didn't think there was anything to clear. It was actually during a course where I was learning this gate healing modality. And my instructor told me to clear energy ties with my husband, who was also in the course, right? <laughs> and we're thinking, oh, okay, what the heck? We don't, not, you know, we don't fight or anything, but maybe. Anyway, clear the energy ties. And I'm telling you, it felt like these rubber bands <laughs> lifted off of me. And, and just went and I felt so different. And I thought, wow, I, I never even would have considered I needed to cl clear energy ties to my husband. But you know what? How many lives have we lived together? How many experiences we have that I don't even recall? You know, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. And for me, that was, I'm, I'm glad I had that experience because it just proved to me how even when you think you may not have any kind of a negative energy attachment to something, it can still be there. Because it's, again, beyond the logic, beyond what you think you know, this is all subconscious programming. This is things that you're bringing forward with you from another time, maybe through that ancestral line, like I've mentioned before, from past traumas, you know, uh, maybe you have energetic ties between you and your vehicle that you need to clear. Um, maybe your car keeps breaking down every day. I mean, this is really the type of thing that it could be. And really, it's because there's some energy ties that are not supporting your relationship with that physical car because of maybe some older 
crash, uh, older experience. And, and right now I'm speaking logically that had to do with the card, but sometimes it doesn't even, right? So there's energy ties to everything. Um, yeah, I hope that gets that point across because we generally just think of ties to the actual trauma or the actual people involved, but it's more than that. You have energy ties to everything. Everything's made up of energy. Everything is little particles moving <laughs> that are manifested through our own, own mind's creation into that crystal across the room from me, right? Whatever it might be. So clearing energy ties uh, is really a very simple process and it is oh so powerful. Energy healing can do that for you. Benefit number six, empowering beliefs are instilled. <laughs> this is the magic. This is the fun part. So as after, as or after clearing a lot of this subconscious programming, we can then pull in, bring in, download new beliefs, new ways of being into every single cell of your body, right? And always in the highest and best way for you. So this is something that I do with my healing modalities through Theta Healing and the Gate Method. Um, I have to say I combine different modalities as well besides those two, but I mostly work with those two um, because they are just oh so effective. And usually that's where my guidance takes me because I just follow whatever intuitively comes to me to do in any healing session. So it's kind of like, you know, it's like an artist's palette. I'm an artist. So maybe that's why it, this, this is the way it is for me. I take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. It's like whatever it is that wants to flow through, I just trust what comes and I go for it. And what I love is that we absolutely can install new beliefs and um, make them be our new way of being. So that's done um, very quite easily in that theta brain wave. And that's why theta, I mean, theta healing really is so much about just clearing beliefs and installing new ones. Um, well, there's a lot more to it than that, but it's really um, a big part of it. So, that's quite magical. And sometimes the belief that I might hear that wants to be downloaded to my client, um, when they hear that, they're like, oh my God, perfect, perfect, perfect. You know, <laughs> and it's a two way street, right? So, you know, I can't clear beliefs unless the client wants to clear them. And, um, you know, cause ultimately you call the shots you are the healer. We're just facilitating that healing for you. You then take it on and can allow that healing to come through. And for some reason, energy healing isn't working for you, then you want to go back to that energy healer, your energy healer, another energy healer, and explain that. Because then they can tap into, well, why, why isn't this having any effect for you? Let me just see if there's anything blocking you from that. Because it could only be that there is resistance to the healing, resistance to the change, some fear that exists under there that needs to be released before you can step into this new way of being. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of little intricacies to it, but just know that through energy healing, you can create new beliefs and really start manifesting a life that you love. That's what it's all about. Manifesting, living a life that you love. Okay, let's move on. Benefit number seven, new energy and enthusiasm is gained for transformation. <laughs> and that's just perfect. And that's what energy healing is all about. I mean, many times people might come to me feeling depressed, anxious, fearful, um, afraid, um, feeling 
that they've been a failure, um, feeling like they'll never overcome whatever is just showing up for them in their experience, whether it be physical or something else. They just feel so heavy and so kind of lost and not knowing where to, what to do or where to go forward. I mean, a lot of times when you go through something maybe traumatic um, or even just from uh, the loss of someone passing and you just feel lost, you don't know what's what anymore. I mean, there's so many different things that people come to me for, um, but even just from one session, after the session, they always just feel empowered. They feel enthusiastic. They feel ready to go out and make a difference in their life just from one session. Now, I have to say one session is not a cure-all because there are so many layers, right, of, of patterns and programs. Some of the, you know, some of the things that are really blocking you are really deep within. And it, so it takes um, more than one session usually to even learn how to engage in that process and to allow yourself to go open and go deeper and deeper within uh, along with your healer to find those parts that are ready to be released. You know, sometimes those parts are not ready to be released all at once. You know, it, it's kind of like, you know, they were created over a long period of time, most likely, right? And so it takes a little time to really get to the root of situations to make, really make transformation. But I almost hate saying that because now and then one session will do the trick. You're off and running and you're like, wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's, that's what's exciting about energy healing. It really is truly a transformation. It really brings you back to present time, the here and now, um, by releasing these older, old stories that happened at some other time in your existence. It's not happening now. See, that's a really important part of it. Whatever it was that went on is not happening now. It's in the past. So energy healing can help you to release that, to empower you with new energy, even because I combine coaching with my healing, um, new skills, new knowledge as to how to move forward, to make change, to create change that you want in your life, to no longer be the effect of outside circumstances. Ultimately, it's about truly tapping into your truth, allowing that to come out and be let out into the world, right? To release what's blocking you. I go to the throat chakra because that's all about expression, right? And sharing your gifts, shining your light. So let's clear all this stuff that keeps you, prevents you from being that bright light that you are and sharing the gifts with the world. Loving your life, feeling awesome, feeling great in your body, right? Being able to, no matter what's going on, because things pop up, right? We have, we're, you know, we want to grow and expand. So we, we create experience that maybe doesn't feel so good at first that is leading us to something even better. So when you're in present time with those things, you can see that for what it is and not get stuck in an old story and go down the rabbit hole into chaos. Um, it's more about being present, noticing what comes up, being able to clear that and still focusing on what it is, what you're going towards, what is in your future. I don't even, I never even say what you want to create because we don't want to keep wanting, wanting, wanting. We are connecting to what it is that is in your future, what those desires are that you really are driven towards. So we're holding that space as energy healers, that container of that already being your truth, your exist, your, your existence, you know, because all time exists at the same time. So why not? tap into that future you who's already figured it all out, who's already created all this awesome stuff and not get stuck in those past stories that just keep you from going where you're meant to be.
We want to be able to be in that energetic flow, connected to our spiritual guidance, receiving the inspiration, having the creative ideas, having like magic things pop up on your path that take you to your next step. Yeah, that's what lights me up, being able to assist you in getting to that space. Really be your truth, that shining light, that ma magnificent creator who can really manifest all that you want, whether it's healing in your physical body, your emotional body, or just really connecting to that spiritual side of you and allowing that to present and be free. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. So there you have it. My seven benefits. Of course, there are so many more. I mean, it's kind of hard to say. It's such an individual thing with each person, but basically... I think just knowing about those seven benefits can really assist you in making a decision if energy healing is for you. So I say it, just try it because uh, you'll want to do more. Try it, you'll like it, and you'll want to do more. I'll leave you with that for now. I do hope that you enjoyed these benefits that I've shared and that you'll leave me some comments below with anything that came up for you or any questions you have based on all that I just explained. I would love you to um, share and of course subscribe, hit that bell so you get notifications when new videos come out and I would just love to connect with you more. I'll see you on another video. Bye.